Hey, I'm Nick Hawks with Gristle King, walking you through my latest 5G Helium install. All right, so here we are cruising up into the host building. I'm gonna show you where the Freedom Phi miner is. Okay, here is the inside of a 5G setup. So we've got our Freedom Phi miner right here. That white cord is ethernet that is going to the, uh, the local router and then onto the internet. And then this black cord is power for the Freedom Phi. And then the red one, red ethernet, goes down around and into a PoE, power over ethernet, that is also plugged into the wall there. And that guy goes out, another red one goes out, through the wall, um, up the uh, side of the building and onto the pole that I was showing you before. So it's pretty straightforward. Everything just kind of plugs in. You just think about the flow of data, but uh, that's what it looks like, rock and roll. All right, let's cruise back down the stairs and we'll head out of the building. I know some of this stuff is a little bit boring. I mean, this is a pretty rad metal shop, but it's important to see on all of these installs, whether it's 5G or LoRa, that it just takes work to get up and do this stuff. Now, sometimes you can have a little bit of fun, but uh, what it comes down to is doing the work, putting up the ladders, getting on the roof and getting it done. Now, I came in at the door, ground level, walked up the stairs and installed the first part of it, which is the Freedom Phi Miner. The Miner and the 5G radio are two different things. So coming out of the Miner and up here onto the roof and up this pole to the radio up there is an ethernet cord. I'm running power over ethernet to provide it both power and internet connection. And that is the 5G radio. That's the outdoor buy cells from Calchip. Got that at Helium House in collaboration with my man Keenan. So kind of a cool aside here, this is actually co-run by three people myself the local host here so the person who's letting me put this on our building and then keenan up in canada we're splitting everything three ways 33 and a third percent each which is kind of cool but let's get back to the install piece all right of course before you can put up the new 5g you got to take down the old laura so this is me taking down the old laura pole once it's down i will show you the mount for the 5g here we go got our little mount on here and we're just going to tighten the thing down here is the radio. It is we're gonna rotate this sucker. I'm gonna hold on to it. But we got arrows right here pointing up. They match the arrow that is right here on this guy. And so what should happen is that this little guy right here will lock into this uh, slot. So let's for right now let that thing just kind of hang and be cool. See what's going on. And uh, yeah, tighten this sucker down. The next thing to do will be to set this thing up so that it is where I think it should be. So here we are on the opposite side and this is what we're gonna have to get into. Um, yeah, should be pretty straightforward. And we were just opening this up you'll remember that I ripped all of these things out. So these guys, are they went back in, they're gonna stay in. Here is my ethernet and this guy is live. So when I plug this in, we'll either have an explosion or we'll have 5G coverage. Let's see what happens. So I will come back and uh, let's see, how do we want that thing to work? Oops, made a mistake. So what we're gonna do is there may be a better way to do that, but that's how it's going to be for now. Now that sucker's in there. That gets held on there, and this thing gets pushed into this. Get in there, you fucking pig. Okay. And then I can see it's got connection. I can see the little lights in there, green and yaller. And now I'm going to tighten this sucker up and we'll see what happens. Okay, I've got the uh, radio mounted. It's angled correctly. I've got the ethernet cable that's coming in zip tied to the pole, so it's nice and clean. I just grounded the uh, antenna the radio to the pole, so pole's going down to the building ground. Should be good to go there, and we are ready to lift this sucker up and get going. Rock and roll. There's the train. It's definitely more weight than we've had on there before, but I actually think that's not gonna be super bad. Oh, it's probably zapping my face with 5G right now as we speak.
I'm glad I didn't put that thing any fucking higher on this pole. Not the worst in the world, but really what we want is we want our lines to be like that. And then I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this now. Um, I'm just looking at it. So it's gonna rotate basically 90 degrees from where it is and it will tilt down. So I've just readjusted the angle on the radio. Um, this is the third time I'm taking it down and putting it back up now. So put it back up and this thing should be good facing at the, uh, the trolley stop there. See what we can get. Someone is probably gonna tell me to lift with my back or my legs or some fancy lifting thing. But we kinda got what we got here. Yeah. The uh, radio is up there and pointed at the, what I think is a pretty good 5G location. Now, I could be wrong. I think it's pretty good because it has the three elements or what appear to be the three elements of 5G. It's got high footfall. That thing is pointed right at a local trolley stop. The red building you see behind me is a local San Diego college. So there should be a lot of students there coming to the trolley stop. So we got high footfall. We've got low coverage right there. The coverage there isn't that great. You can test that with an Android phone that's unlocked. You can use an app to do that. I'll link the app down in the description. And then it's got long dwell time. Students sitting around on their phones waiting for the next trolley to come in. So should be ideal. One of the downsides of this place, you can see the cranes behind me from the Navy shipyard, is that this is also pointing to a Navy area. And the Navy is a US government entity that uses radar in the same band as our 3.55 to 3.7. So it is possible, probable, that as an incumbent user, they have a lot of priority over me and that this radio might routinely get shut down. But I think the only good way for a normal person to figure that out, not a professional um, cell, you know, telco installer, but a normal person just like you or me to figure that out, is to put it up there and see what happens. So that's it. You've seen it kind of soup to nuts from walking in the door up to putting in the Freedom Fi, hooking everything up, and then all the way up to here where the radio is mounted on a pole. You guys have seen this kind of non-penetrating roof mount, a couple guy wires and a pole uh, a bunch of times before from me and lots of other Helium users, so pretty straightforward. If you want to get the inside dope on stuff like this, come on over and join the Gristle Crew. Gristle Crew is my paid membership where you get to come in and see what's going on long before I put these kind of public videos out there so you see what's going on in 5G, whether you have questions about the health effects, whether you have questions about where to set it up, what to look for, any of those things that come down the pipe that all goes to the Gristle Crew first. We all talk about what's going on, whether that's a Helium project like this 5G one, or it's another blockchain and meat space project, which is what I'm doing a bunch of. So whether that's GeoNet or WeatherXM or Mapmetrics or you name it, we probably have someone in the Gristle Crew who is an expert at it and is sharing that information with everyone else. And that's really the point of the Gristle Crew is to get in there, get early good access to information from some of the experts in the field, share that around and all rise up and succeed together. So that's what's going on. That's the Helium 5G that we got going on. That's the Gristle Crew um, call out. So come join us. It's Pretty darn cheap right now, won't always be that way. Would love to have you on board and share as much information as we can about making this decentralized wireless world way better. Rock on. Nick Hawks and Crystal King, out.